about vulnerable people, this vulnerability in relation to climate change, and we spoke already about different disasters happening almost on a daily basis around the globe. Um, I understand that the church always put in front vulnerable people. The last will be the first, and the first will be the last, as uh, Jesus teaches. But uh, my question is, again, going back to the European Green Deal, do you see any external dimension? What the Global South could read in the European Green Deal? Are there any parts, I know if you are familiar with the strategy, but are there any parts which you would specifically underline to pay attention uh, from the Global South to, towards the European Union Green Deal? Is it this part? Is it the heart of the European Green Deal? Because from our practice, we see sometimes they say, your 455 is nice inspiration, but it cannot apply to our ecosystem, to our environment, to our political situation, to our situation in our country. If we take, for example, Uganda in South Africa, we cannot come as the EU and say, hey, please implement this uh, net zero pathway, because they say, hey, we haven't had rain already for three months, and we don't know what to plan. So for us, is first secure the food for our children and our family, and then talk about big uh, challenging climate policies and strategies. So from this perspective, do you think that is there any, like as again, common value we should focus on as the global, <laughs> as the human beings living on this earth, which we should really have at heart? Is this no one being left behind? Considering what you, what you defined as no one being left behind. Is it the core we should not forget while going through green transformation and reacting to climate change challenge? Mm, I might be not aware of every detail, but, but my reading of the documents that are on the table so far, um, for me, rather reflect a domestic homework package where it's about uh, considering and defining responsibilities that the EU can take within the group of, of EU member states and to lesser extent uh, looks towards towards the south because it's first of all the, the guiding question how can we reduce 55% um, of emissions um, to 2030 like within less a decade this is this might be an ambitious goal others would say 55 is already not enough but 65 should be maybe uh, should be maybe the target um, uh, but I think it does not weak the, the current strategy of the EU, as we can see or as we've seen in, in Sharm el Sheikh, the Europeans take a very I mean, supportive uh, approach towards the global south. A new tool that's been discussed uh, includes the global shield, um, which might be questioned, but at least it's an offer. Um, considering or framing it as an insurance tool for those who are affected, so to provide them with, with easy access to, to financial support in, in order to adjust. But um, again, and you've, you've asked that earlier, I think money is not the, the only tool that will help us. I think it's about a general attitude, and I think here the EU can definitely do more and better. <laughs> 